Welcome to our Nature Doc friends. I'm coming to sit down and I am sitting on a yoga mat. You do not necessarily need one. You will want a cushion or a block if you have something like this at home. A cushion is absolutely great. And I wanted to take us through today a 15 minute breathing and movement exercise that is really going to help us to find some inner strength and to lift our energy. So I hope you may be able to use this maybe to start your day, maybe if you need to pick up energy around five o'clock late afternoon, maybe for some of you you'll use it before you head out for some exercise like a nice walk or a jog. So let's bring ourselves to sit comfortably I've crossed my legs, you're welcome to take them out in front of you, you're welcome to kneel, whatever makes you feel good as you rest your sit bones down and elevate the spine. In our breathing exercises, you can leave the eyes open or you can close them, it's totally your choice. We're going to bring awareness to both sides of the body and we're gonna really exercise the lungs through our nasal breathing. So throughout this session together, you're going to be breathing through the nose, that's inhale and exhale. And we're gonna try as far as possible not to use the mouth to breathe. So let us begin feeling settled, feeling comfortable, and bring our awareness to our right foot. The toes on the right foot, and then move that awareness up as you think about the lower half of your leg, the calf. Come across your knee, up through the femur bone on your right side. So the heavier part of your leg on your right side. Start to think about it. Come over your hip with your awareness. Up through the right side of your body. So lifting from your hip across your rib cage. Up towards your shoulder. Through the neck, the side of your face, all of the right side of your body until you reach your right nostril and take a deep breath in through that space. And a nice relaxed breath out through the right nostril. Now you're aware that you are of course really breathing through both nostrils, but I've invited you to bring your awareness through the left right side of the body. So that the left is just quiet for the moment still working with you but you have put all your awareness into this right side inhaling now deeply through the right nostril exhaling through the right nostril can we draw the chin very slightly back towards the throat so you can really sense the space through from the nostrils down into the lungs so the positioning of your head sets you up well for reaching the lungs successfully. Notice how the rib cage on the right side begins to open up. Keep your breath through this side of the body strong and steady. On the exhale, release any fear you may have surrounding your breath or your energy levels. Have that deep self-belief that you can make space here through your right side. Feel as though the spaces between your ribs float open to expand the right lung.
just as you feel the right side moving, expanding and making space for you, let's swiftly move our energy straight across to the left side. Start to think about your left foot. Allow that awareness to be in your toes, to start to reach through your foot, over your ankle, round the back of the calf, over your knee, into the large bone of your leg, up over your left hip, and up the side of the rib cage towards the shoulder, up over the ear and the face, and really arrive now in your left nostril. Nice strong breath in together here. Gentle exhale through the nose. Let's not dump on our exhale, let's be soft and gentle. Strength comes into the inhale. You softly float the exhale through the left nostril. Now can you start to bring your awareness to the left lung, how the breath moves it and expands it. Does it feel different to the right side? Does it feel the same? Make your own observations. There's no judgment when we come to breath. There's only the way it feels in this moment and the quality of our breath. Allow those spaces between the ribs, the intercostal muscles to open and stretch and be strong for you and to exhale and squeeze the breath away. Inhale, they float open, they make space, your lung expands. Exhale, you fold and squeeze back in. Think of it like a flannel with your breath. You immerse a flannel in water and it swells open which reflects your inhale. You squeeze it to take away the water and you do the same on your exhale. Now if we press the hands together and bring them to the centre of our chest, we can put the left and the right back together. Breathe strongly through both nostrils. And out through both nostrils. Feel the length of your spine as you inhale and expansive through both lungs. Exhale. Last one, inhale deeply. Exhale completely through both nostrils. And we'll lift ourselves away from a crossed or other seated position and bring ourselves to all fours. When we come to all fours, for the lower back particular, I'd just like us to make sure that the feet are tucked today instead of flat. So tuck them underneath you. This is more energizing for the legs. And just make sure the shoulders stay right over the hands. Don't let the hands be any wider. Our knees underneath the hips, no closer and no wider. And the feet the same. So everything as an animal would have it is stacked neatly. We're going to take an inhale and we're going to release the spine, drop the belly towards the floor, relax your diaphragm, the head softly lifts and the tailbones are out. That movement is an inhale. On your exhale, the belly scoops up, we find our strength, we squeeze out our flannel, chin to chest and round out. On our next inhale, we're going to roll ourselves up into a triangle shape known as of course you probably know as downward facing dog. We inhale here. We're gonna exhale and press away the heels if you can, a gentle leg stretch. Another one here, inhale and rise up into your toes and front load your body. Exhale, release, push the heels towards the floor. On a pause in our breath, the knees reach back down to the floor. We repeat, we inhale and we flex the spine. We exhale, we round out the spine, pull the navel up high. 
On the next inhale, we roll through the feet. We lift up to downward facing dog. We exhale and push the heels towards the floor. It doesn't matter how close they get. Inhale, rise up onto the toes. Exhale, press the heels away. Pause the breath, there's no need for in or out, just the knees arriving back down. Inhale and flex. Exhale through the nose, round out. Inhale, find your strength to rise up high. This can be really challenging, I appreciate that. Take a break if you need. Exhale, push the heels down. Inhale to rise into the toes. Exhale through the nose, push the heels away. Come down to the knees. Inhale to flex, you begin to get the idea now. Close the eyes if that feels nice and comfortable for you, rounding out for exhale. Inhale, fly yourself up. So this is where we find our strength, both emotionally and physically. Exhale the heels away. Inhale, rise up into the toes. Exhale, push the heels away, push your hips high. Come down through the knees. Let's do this a couple more times. Inhale to flex. Exhale to round. Inhale to rise up. Push down your thumb and index finger to find shoulder strength. Exhale, the heels are down. Inhale, we rise into our toes. Exhale, we push back. Knees arrive down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, heels down. Inhale, rise into the ball of the foot. Exhale, push the heels away. Inhale and flex. Exhale and round out. Inhale and rise. Exhale the heels back. Inhale to rise to the toes. Exhale to push heels away. Come down through the knees. You can relax here. You either sit back here or you open the knees a little wider if you'd like to work the hips more. And just sit back. Your feet are now soft underneath you, not tucked. We reach the hands forward, touch down the nose, touch down the forehead. Just allow yourself to ground here. This is our final exercise and this is where we'll be leaving the session in a moment. So just allow yourself to float and sink down. If you're very tight in the top of the leg or you have knee discomfort, put a nice chunky cushion or something else between your hips and your heels. This will allow the acuteness of your knee bend to be less so. So it's much more comfortable for anyone that's had difficulties with the knees or if you find that you're very tight on the thigh. So find your comfort here and settle into your breath. Can you still be breathing in through the nose, out through the nose, and really using that exhale to release judgments or attachments you have to the way that you're currently feeling, and just let them sink into the earth. So we ground ourselves here. And we find that we have this lovely relationship with that grounding because on the other side of it, on the other side of exhale is inhale. And that's hopeful and that's lifting and it brings energy up from the ground to meet you. You can stay there for as long as you like and then you'll be bringing yourself back up and getting on with the rest of your day and using I hope those exercises as often as you need to just really feel that sense of strength in time maybe you'll find you spend longer in the stronger pose of downward facing dog and it's very powerful for you for your whole body system it activates the parasympathetic nervous system so it makes us feel chilled out at the same time as plugging in our strength so a lovely little balance for you <laughs>